Joshua chapter 21 begins, Then the leaders of the tribe of Levi came to consult with Eleazar the priest, Joshua the son of Nun, and the leaders of the other tribes of Israel. They came to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us towns to live in and pasture lands for our livestock. So by the command of the Lord, the people of Israel gave the Levites the following towns and pasture lands out of their own land grants. It's interesting to me that as God appointed cities to be given to the priest, it seemed important that those cities be spread throughout the land of Israel. It's really the beginning of the local church. God didn't want the priest in a holy huddle, but rather distributed throughout the tribes so there would be a priestly influence in every territory. Peter tells us in the New Testament that as New Covenant believers, we are now priests. So in much the same way, believers are called to be scattered throughout society. Instead of forming some Christian clump or a church of us four and no more. And as priests, we are called not to be served, but to serve. See, it's easy for us to look for and seek someone to serve us. But it takes a totally different mindset to be good servants ourselves. The Levites were the last to receive their inheritance in the land, letting the other tribes go first. Likewise, you and I are called to put the needs of others ahead of our own. And in doing so, we imitate Jesus and become other-centered like he was. Jesus' living example of voluntary servitude challenges every honest, authentic believer to their core. But when we follow his example, we share in the joy in serving that Jesus experienced, and we become more like him in our daily lives.